To create the front pocket pieces on jeans, you'll need the following pieces. First of all, of course, you need pocket lining. Secondly, you need pocket shields that you will place on top of the lining to hide the fabric at the pocket opening once the jeans are closed. And thirdly, you also need one coin pocket piece that you will place on the right shield. By the way, if your pattern lacks this piece, you can actually download the exact pattern templates that I'm using in this video for free. Just click on the link in the description section to get your hands on them. Start by folding and pressing the opening of the coin pocket. Fold once, press, and then fold again, press. Next step is to top stitch the pocket opening. Use heavy thread in the needle and regular sewing machine thread in the bobbin, especially if you're sewing on a domestic sewing machine. I also recommend that you get a top stitching needle, which has a bigger eye and it's really helpful when you're stitching through thick layers of denim. By the way, check the description section for more info on the notions that I like to use when I sew denim. Top stitch one or two rows using heavy denim thread in the needle and by the way, you can also use two spools of regular sewing machine thread that you insert in the needle eye as a substitute for heavy top stitching thread. Fold and press in the side seam allowance of the coin pocket around one centimeter, which is roughly about three, eight inches on each side. And now it's time to attach the coin pocket to the right pocket shield. Place it on top. Make sure that it aligns with the lower edge of the shield. Also check that the pocket is far enough in so it won't be in the way when you're sewing the side and waistband seams later on. Top stitch the pocket. Start from the outer right edge, pivot at the end, then you sew along the lower edge to close the opening. Pivot again and sew the left outer edge. Turn 90 degrees at the opening, sew around 6 millimeters, about a quarter of an inch, along the top edge. Pivot again and sew the left inner seam. And then you finish off by stitching the right inner seam and pivot at the top and secure by overlapping the outer right row a few stitches. Now it's time to overcast the lower edges of the shield. Use a three thread wide serger overlock stitch or a sewing machine overcast stitch. And you know what? You can also fold and press the edges instead of overcasting that, but that will be a bit more of a bulky solution. Place the pocket shield on the lining. Double check so that you're placing the shields properly and the plain shield should be on the left side. Also, fold to make sure that the shields do not extend beyond the fold. Attach the shields to the lining by sewing a straight stitch along the lower edge of the shield. For even more professional finish, you can also sew two rows of stitching, but it's not really necessary for durability. And now it's time to attach the lining to the front jeans pieces. Wrong side up, right sides facing. Place the curved lining opening on top of the pocket opening. Before you start sewing, just make sure that the pocket and the shield ends up on the correct side when the pocket is folded. Stitch close to the edge using a straight stitch. A narrow seam will definitely make the shaping of the opening curve easier. So the seam should not be wider than one centimeter, and preferably a little less than that. Fold over the pocket opening and press. Let the front fabric overlap slightly towards the inside so that the lining won't show through on the outside. Smooth out the curve so it lies even and flat. Top stitch the pocket. Stitch close to the edge for the first row and using a presser foot with an edge guide will actually make this step easier. Then you stitch the second row using a regular presser foot. Now for the finishing touches. To close the pocket opening, we're going to sew a French seam 
which is a theatre on many high-end denim brands. So what you do is that you fold the pocket lining so that the wrong sides are facing and the right side of the fabric is towards you. Stitch close to the edge, no more than 6 mm, 1 quarter of an inch, using a straight stitch. Then you turn the lining so now that the right sides are facing each other, so that the seam will no longer be visible to you. And then you finish off by stitching a second row to enclose that seam. Stitch just above the edge of the first fold so that the first seam allowance with the raw edges are enclosed inside that second row of stitching. Try to make the seam fairly narrow, ideally less than one centimeter wide, but do make sure that you don't catch any fraying threads. You're nearly done, but one important step remained, which is basting. So, machine baste the side and the top in preparation for sewing the side and waist seam because the basting will keep the pocket in place during those steps in the assembly process.